But before anything else, uh, I'm going to flash a, a video uh, in which uh, I felt uh, this is very important. And I think uh, it's going to be changed it's going to be some sort of a changes in the way we conduct business. Ito po yung bagong Bating Pinoy, no? Bating Pilipino. Julio, taong dalawang libo at labing siya. Tinulong ni Congressman Bayani Fernando ang Resolution Number no. 42 na naglalayong ipalaganap ang isang bagong paraan ng pagbati, paggalang at pagbibigay tulay na ligtas sa sakit kapalit ng nakasanayan ng daopalad na kamayan. Matagal nang napatunayan ng siyensya sa medisina na ang tradisyonal na pakikipaggamayan ay maaaring makapagsalin ng mga nakahahawang sakit. Kaya't dapat na itong maalis at palitan. At ito ang mainam na kapalit, ang bating Filipino. Ang banayad at magiliw na pagpatong ng kanang palad sa gitnang dibdib, kasabay ng bahagyang pagyukod ng ulo. Ito ay pinagtibay ng Kongreso at nilagdaan ni House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano noong ikalima ng Pebrero taong dalawang libo at dalawampu. Bating Filipino, ang opisyal na paraan ng pagbati, pagbibigay galang at pagpupugay na maggiling na isinasagawa sa pamamagitan ng pagdampi ng kanang palad sa gitnang bahagi ng dibdib, bahagyang pagyukod ng ulo ng nakapikit o may paibabang tingin, sabay ang pagsambit ng sal. Ang pagyuko ay tanda ng paggalang at kababa ang loob. Ang pagpikit o pagtingin sa ibaba ay tanda ng pagtitiwala sa binabati. Ako po, si Bayani Fernando. At yan ang bating Pilipino. Let's do this with or without COVID. That's it, no? That's our new greetings, no? So... Let's practice it. No, the, the earlier we practice it, um, the, the earlier we can adapt in all of those things. Okay? So, now uh, for just the reminder, no, in the entire presentation, in order not to distract also the presenter, um, please kindly put all of, your mic, of your, all of your mics on the silent mode. Um, and please kindly monitor it. Because minsan kasi medyo na on eh. So, uh, to the leaders, no, to the to the DPPA consultant, please kindly monitor your your downline so that it, we will not dis disrupt also the presenter that will be doing the presentations. No, all of the questions will be entertained right after the presenter presenter finish all of the uh, all of the uh, topics or presentation that he or she is going to do. Just kindly take down the notes of whatever things that you wanted to ask. Okay, this is for the order of the of the meeting. Okay, on Friday, uh, I will be talking about um, condo specialists. Uh, we are doing a series actually for the month of June about condominiums. We are talking about the market, the position, how are we going to sell, what are the advantages, what are the key points that relates to condominium selling. We believe that there is a market for this one and we believe that there is a strong actually need, uh, demand for, for condominium development. So uh, we're putting the entire month of June uh, the priority to discuss about condominium. And we're going to end this coming Friday for our third session for condo specialists. So that's going to be 9.45 in the morning. That's going to be the same meeting ID and the password. And um, we experienced last week that there were a lot of people who were not able to get into the room. It exceeds the 100 capacity. So please check in ahead of time. And let us know if there are a lot of people na hindi po nakapasok so that we can schedule again another um, session. Okay. Now, tomorrow, we will have our recruitment seminar that's going to be in 9.45 in the morning. Um, still the same meeting ID. So please kindly brief the one that you're going to invite, the one that you are uh, supposed to invite as a, as a real estate agent. Have them downloaded the Zoom ahead of time. Give them the meeting ID and the password. Give them the instruction on how to log in so that they will be able to log in. And remind them also that uh, here in DPPI, uh, we practice Filipino time. And Filipino time 
is on time. No? So when the hit, when the clock hits at 9.45, the, the room is open immediately. Okay. Now, for those people that are processing their IDs who are able to send the application through online, um, however, the, for, the former online, actually, online form actually doesn't bear the attachment of the payment. So to those na naka-submit po, kindly send your payments either through GCash or through BPI bank account and kindly screenshot no, or take a picture of the transaction receipt and email it to the email listed below. But for the new applicants, actually, you can attach the proof of payment on the link provided already. Okay? So, um, I would like to announce the, the opening of our, uh, or I mean, I mean the onset of our uh, Bacolod branch. Now, I don't know the regulation in the local government, but um, whatever would be the local government's mandate, we are just going to comply. But uh, should there be any transaction, if you have agents coming from those areas, just notify them. You may take a screenshot, no? Uh, Vanessa, Hinobis, and Victoria Padilla, they are actually our branch operator in the area. And also for DPPI Luzon, now you, we have here actually Dennis, no? Dennis Cortero. Actually, um, we don't have much detail yet as to the location because, uh, because of the COVID situation, but Dennis is very much, very much reachable to those numbers. And we already have a handful of agents there, actually. In fact, uh, as we speak today, uh, there are there are actually a group of agents uh, who are actually in fell invest the gig I'm not sure but somewhere somewhere in that area okay so just screenshot uh, screenshot the number of Dennis please okay then um, our project marketing officer for for Sibulan master is uh, Novilin no Novilin Alcover uh, you have her number there so please kindly uh, screenshot it no so that if you need some uh, information related to the project of Sibulan Masters the entire Sibulan Master that is actually all of the Visayas and Mindanao projects so Novelin will gonna be taking care of, uh, take care of that for us and for Avida also no for Avida uh, project here in Cebu and for for Bria no um, I would like to introduce you Milona Milona Obiedo as the marketing officer for Bria so if should you should you ask for anything about Bria, uh, kindly contact below now. Please screenshot the number so that uh, you will not be missing out something, especially if you need some very important information. Okay, then for Paramount, no Paramount, uh, uh, they will be joining with us today, and you you keep in touch with Alfred, no Alfred John Montiliano. Please do screenshot his number. No, it's uh, it's actually on the screen. They have a lot of project actually from north to south of Cebu, and I believe that you're gonna enjoy selling their projects also. Okay, they have varied, uh, they have a variety of projects um, as well. So please uh, screenshot na lang, no, para dili mawala. Okay, now I would like to remind this coming Saturday. This is a very important training for us, Real Estate 101. An online course by Chinky Tan. Now, the price, the original price of the online uh, course of Chinky is seven hundred ninety nine. You can browse that on the page in any in any pages in the in the Facebook. But for here, on our training here this coming Saturday at exactly one fifteen in the afternoon. Please take note one fifteen in the afternoon. Please enroll through your DPPI consultant. Ask whoever is your consultant. Enroll to them. Um, the enrollment fee is just only 20 pesos and they will send you the training materials. Please bring it during the training session. You will really need it. It is important that you have the training manual because it's quite different if you are really writing down the, the important points. There are things that are really relevant. So makakalimutan nyo yan pag hindi nyo isusulat. So better bring the manual. So your consultants will facilitate your enrollment and your training manual as well, okay? Then this one, this is a special training on June 30. That's Tuesday, no? That's Tuesday at 2 p.m. We don't have a guest developer for that day, but um, uh, we're going to have an online uh, training with JP Veneracion, no? 
FB Ads Blueprint. Now, you can see also JP Veneracion in all of the social media channel. You can browse. Um, his online courses actually ranges from 2,500 to 3,000 per head. Now, you go and approach your uh, consultant, enroll yourself for only 20 pesos. No, So this is very important because we will be using this one for a marketing purposes, okay? Especially whatever projects that will be shared today, it is important that you will have those, um, you will have ideas, no? You will have clues on how to do Facebook uh, advertising. And it does help a lot, no? And it does help a lot, okay? So um, I'm gonna show you a very, just a very short video in order to really explain the value of what you're gonna be getting this, this Tuesday. And I hope, that you're gonna spare some time with this one, okay? Listen to this. This is this is JP Veneracion. Pwede rin yung magawa sa yun. Hi guys, my name is JP Veneracion. At tulad mo, meron ding ups and downs ang business ko. Pero napansin ko kung kailan nasa up yung business ko, yung pala yung time na nagpe Facebook ads ako. Facebook ads as long as ginawa mo siya ng tama, tutulungan kanya talaga sa business mo para mapunta sa taas. I remember ng 2014, mga nga nakong misis ko sa second child namin. Few months before mga nakong misis ko, ang sabi ng doctor niya is magiging cesarean siya. So kailangan maghanda ng budget. So one month before mga nak si misis, I realized na sa 30,000 pa lang ang budget ko or ang ipon ko. So sabi ko nung kailangan ko gumawa ng offer upang makabenta ako, upang kumita ako at magkaroon ako ng enough na budget or ipon para sa panganganak ng misis ko. March 14, nakaschedule mga nakang misis ko at uh, March 13 pa lang, pinapapunta na kami ng doktora niya. March 12 ko natapos yung offer ko. Pero syempre, kailangan ko pa ibenta yung kailangan ko i-market yun. Kaya nag-Facebook ads ako. So March 13 ko, nang umaga, sinimulan yung pag-setup ng Facebook ads ko. Buzzer beater, bago kami umalis ng bahay, na run ko yung Facebook ads ko around 2 or 3 p.m. So kinabukasan, March 14, ang anak na yung misis ko. At pagdating ng tanghali, doon nag-start, nagkaroon ng mga inquiries about my offer. Pagdating ng hapon, doon na rin nag-start, magkaroon ng mga sales. So for 3 days na nasa hospital kami, tuloy-tuloy na pumapasok ang sales sa tulong ni Facebook ads. And in 3 days, naka-generate ako ng almost 70,000 pesos. At yung naging bill namin sa hospital is more than 80,000. So meron akong almost 70,000 plus yung ipon ko na 30,000 nagkasya yung pera ko sa hospital bill. Si Nave ni Facebook Ads, ang business ko, naka-generate ako ng sales, nagkaroon akong pambayad sa hospital. Kung hindi ako nag-Facebook Ads, kung nag-rely lang ako sa mga free marketing strategies, yes, magkakaroon ng sales mo, pero malamang hindi aabot, malamang hindi kakasya, kaya malamang mangunguta, manghihiran lang din ako sa iba. Isa lang yan sa mga instance na nasave ako ng Facebook Ads. But don't get me wrong, kailangan alam din natin ginagawa natin sa Facebook ads. Hindi lang basta yung boosting or boost post. Kailangan alam natin yung ad objective natin. Kailangan alam natin yung tamang concept and formula para magkaroon tayo ng effective na ad campaign. At ang good news ko para sa'yo, tinuturo ko yan sa Facebook advertising training course ko. So more or less you you have heard actually the the entire concept and how and the value of the Facebook ads. So kita kita tayo sa Tuesday, no, with JP Veneracion. So where we're tapping the 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 experts right now because uh, hindi naman kasi pwede na magpaka magaling lang tayo and we exp we, we don't deliver results. So this time what we want is that we want to see results. That's why we're we're getting the experts right now to do the training for us. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. You know, guys, um, it's one thing to have the desire. One, it's one thing to have the passion. But it's another thing to really be equipped as well. Okay? So...
few more announcements. Okay, uh, this is a personal announcement. Every Sunday, we are live, actually. Our worship service will be live at 9 o'clock in the morning. You just have to tune in in our official D818 FB groups, actually, our FB group. Then, um, announcement coming from Property24 and Carousel. The current rate for 30 listings, which is 1,300 that you are paying for the subscription fee, starting July 1, uh, 2020, the rate will now be at 2,500. But those that are able to avail already with the 1,300, all throughout the year, 1,300 lang po yan. So, ang laki-laki na po ng savings ninyo with that. So, if you are planning and contemplating to avail of the services for Property24 and Carousel, please contact Isaac Bakornay. Uh, the number is on your screen. Have it screenshot. You text her and she will immediately respond to you. Um, para makahabol po kayo sa price increase na 2.5. So, if you can avail it today, 1.3 lang for the next one year. No, so, ang laki hong saving. So, these are actually a um, few of the online portals that we are using uh, in which we believe na all of us needs it. No, all of us needed a boost in terms of uh, marketing. No? Kakailanganan, kakailanganin natin lahat yan. So, that's why we're, we're inviting people. Okay? And today, we will be shared by Paramount and uh, Phil Invest Sambuanga. Okay? So... Tomorrow, we will be joined by Prime World Butuan and Prime World, I think, Cotabato. That's that, that's two locations in Mindanao as well. And on Friday, we will be joined by Mega World Bacolod. No, Mega World Bacolod. Um, they have a very nice project in there, actually. So uh, stay tuned in no, for for the rest of the schedules. Ito lang muna for, for this week. No? And for next week, uh, iba naman. We are already booked, actually, the entire month of uh, July, and we're just trying to fit in other singit singit na mga mga PKS natin, no? So we we always plan ahead of time. Okay, I'll put this down. So hopefully you get to remember all of those um, schedules. Anyway, it would be announced from time to time. Okay, so I'm gonna give access. Actually, um, Alfred said to me a while, uh, actually in a text message that um, Miss Sheila Padua of uh, Fell Invest. Uh, uh, Zamboanga actually will we'll go ahead first and actually I, I don't have much of a details with uh, Mishila. Um, Miss, uh, if you're there, you can just introduce yourself na lang to, the entire, uh, to the entire team. By the way, for the purpose of uh, information, we are joined by sellers coming from Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao. It is highly advisable if we, um, if we talk both English or Tagalog uh, in order to give benefit to uh, the non visayan speaking uh, attendance. So you are joined by 40, 47 people in the Zoom room and over 100 plus in Facebook Live. Okay, Miss, your turn. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, Hello. Miss. Doc, ayan, good afternoon. I will just have to, I, I don't know how to do the, the video on. But anyway, um, Maayong buntag, magandang hapon, and good afternoon, everybody. But in sales, you say, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I am Sheila Padua. I am the branch manager, dual sales channel head for Phil Invest Land Incorporated, and I am based in Zamboanga City. Um, for the past 20 years, I have been a banker, and at 40, when life began at 40, um, I joined the real estate industry. So practically, you would already guess how old I am. However, um, this is a very rare opportunity that I am being um, invited. Thank you very much, Doc Jo, and see si, si Alfred, who has sellers in Zamboanga City. So um, regarding our two projects, I am very happy to share with you I hope, Doc, you can share my screen. Yeah, it's 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 seen already, Miss Sheila. Seen na siya, yung Futura, this yeah. one. Um, All right. I think, uh, what, what is seen here, actually, this is a Facebook uh, account of yours, I guess. Actually, no. I am, uh, I'm not quite sure, no? Do you have this? I would like to show the, the Futura slides. Is everybody viewing the slides? 
Um, not yet, Miss. The one that you shown ah. actually was a was a Facebook. Uh, I think account of yours. That, uh, that that's what is shown actually. I actually I don't have a. Uh, you have to invite me in to allow me to share screen. Um, actually, you are already in. Uh, that's the reason why I, I, we saw we saw your uh, no we saw your uh, uh, the the one that you have I uh, know the, the the one that you show. Um, uh, it, it, I think it's a Facebook page. No, no, no. no it's, it's not, not... Michelle, po. Yan, hindi yan, ano. Hindi yan. po yan kay Michelle na Facebook. Uh, ah, okay. You have to allow me, Doc, to share screen. Uh, yes, you can. You can uh, get in. You can get in, Miss. Share screen. All right. Yes, you can. You can share screen. Wait, ah, uh, one moment. You have to. This is the screen that is shown in my laptop, and you have to share it to everyone. I think allow to share screen lang ako. Yes, yeah, it's already it's already open, Miss. Ayan na, Futura Home, Sambuanga. Uh, hindi pa, Miss. You, you have you you click it uh, share screen, then Mom you Shay. up you up the screen. Mom Shay, I yeah. think nisita to Ma'am Abri dito yung video, Ma'am, para pwede to man share screen. One moment, ha? Okay, for Unmute. One moment. Uh, okay. Hindi ito pwede abri di mio di mio video. Kasi hindi yo el host. You can actually miss. Even uh, you, you are already ano. Uh, you are already allowed. Um, you have to open first the video before you click the share screen. Oh, oh, yeah. There, it's it's seen already, Miss. The the screen, uh, the the Futura Homes uh, PowerPoint. Okay, na mam she, pwede ya, klaro ya. Yeah, that's it's very clear, Miss.
Hello, Miss. Um, I, I think you don't have a, a you know, your your mic is an naka naka mute po. Yan. Hello. Yan. Yes. Yan. Okay. Yan, Yan Miss. So, na. Okay. So practically, what I said were not heard, no? Except the slides. All Except right. the slides. Yes. Okay. Except the slides. All right. Uh, the the location is in Barangay Bualan. Barangay Bualan is in the east coast of Sambuanga City, and we are going to develop twelve point three hectares of property, and it's going to be a Futura brand. It's the value homes segment of the residential uh, subdivision, and. Um, we are promoting convenience, we are promoting safety, security, the usual Phil Invest um, Futura Homes brand, no? And this project is situated near schools. Um, we have a hospital near it and we have the Ateneo de Zamboanga University High School Campus and Elementary Campus. So our subdivision is going to be located in the planned city extension of Sambuanga City. So currently Sambuanga City, we have two congressional districts, District 1 uh, and District 2. And with the population of Sambuanga growing, we might be able to look forward to having a third congressional district. That's why Philinvest already positioned its subdivision development in the planned city extension. And beyond that, if you go further to to Talaba and Mercedes, that is where the proposed new airport would be. So we are already market positioning our uh, homes segment. So the land development will be in phases, no? And so the house construction delivery will be in tranches. This is how it's, it's uh, going to be. Oops, down. So the community will be gated with, with 24 hours, uh, seven days a week, roving guards and one entry, one exit. And we are going to develop it with complete amenities. So we have, do you see my screen for, for the other? It's the map, Miss. Uh, yeah. The map only. Yeah, the map only. Oh. It's not moving. Um, even if you click yeah, it, yeah, there. Okay. <laughs> that is the, the, the sales map. No? So we are going to develop it in two phases. So from the leftmost that you see in your screen, that's towards the highway. So you go inside 300 meters and our property is bisected by a barangay road. So the first phase will be the one on the leftmost. So the upper portion of the screen, that's going to be phase one. The phase two will be the lower portion. And that's where our amenities that's going to be. So our main roads will be wide and we have the usual Futura homes all over um, Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao subdivision, horizontal development projects themed in the modern minimalist. So still we have complete amenities. Um, the usual that we have, 
We have the pavilion, we have our swimming pools, playgrounds, open spaces, and our basketball courts. And uh, these are samples of a 12 meter to 10 meter roads wide. Uh, 10 meters uh, wide road, I mean. And uh, the sample of houses are our umbers. Practically, we only have two model units, no? So the first unit that I would like to present is the umber. Why? Because in our tranche uh, one, the umbers are all located in the block 15. So these are perimeter house models. And these are row houses. And our row houses will come in uh, five units, no? Five in clusters of five and in clusters of four. So our end unit will have a lot area of 78.4. And um, 78.4 square meters and our inner units will have 50.4 square meters. So if I would like to illustrate uh, the green patch on the leftmost portion of the end unit, which is 78.4 square meters, it will be having a frontage of 5.6 meters and it will have a depth of 14 meters. So front 5.6 times 14, which is the depth, will give us 78.4. And the setback, if you see the property line of the, of the lot, going to the edge, the outer portion of the house, that is five meters. So um, Fred, the, there was a buyer of yours who we entertained over the phone and he was asking if, his, uh, his vehicle can fit into and make into a garage, a portion of the frontage. And I said, yes, it can, because the depth of that, the setback is five meters in, in depth. So take more or less, your car is three meters long. Tasha. Now, our houses would be two stories. And the aggregate floor area would be 40.31, accounting for the ground floor to have around 22.3 square meters. So that would be uh, in the front, 3.6 by 6.2 depth. That would give you a floor area of 22.32. You, you can jot down the notes, no? So that later when we do the accounting, you do your questions, we will be able to see it on the same page. And then our second floor accounts for uh, around 16.54. So if I would round up the ground floor, that would be 23.77 to be exact, because there is a portion of the kitchen and the portion where the toilet and bath is that would account for another 1.45 square meters. So all in at the ground floor would be 23.77 and the second floor would account for 16.54, giving us a total floor area of 40.31. Now, if we are going to present this to our buyers, the the floors, uh, it will be delivered bare. It's a bare unit. So meaning we will have to explain to our buyers that they will be able to receive the housing unit painted, smooth painted finish outside and indoors. However, the floors will be smooth finish only. Cement smooth finish. Um, we are really emphasizing this because we do not want our sellers to give a misrepresentation. Um, the buyers might end up looking for wooden tiles or ceramic tiles on the floor. We deliver the house with the floor bare, smooth finish lang siya dock. And then the second floor also, the 16.54 square meters floor area 
SA provision for two bedrooms. So we really have to emphasize that it is two bedrooms provision. Walay partition. We don't have a partition for the bedrooms. It's going to be there. Um, in the long run, we are looking at it as an advantage for our buyers. How? Because they might want to use the entire 16.54 to be one whole big bedroom. Or they would decide to divide the bedrooms into two, one bedroom bigger over the other. Or they would decide to divide the bedroom, the 16.54, equally divided into two. So we give them the, the liberty of, of doing the interiors for, for their amber unit. Anak siya. That, that's how uh, we are going to explain to our buyers. So the next model unit that we have, I have to skip that. The next model unit that we have is our ELISA. And most of our ELISA is located in our tranche one, that's block 14, and in tranche two, in block 13 and 12. And all in our inventories, uh, Amber and ELISA's combined, we only have remaining 49 units for the tranche one and the tranche two. And um, ELISA is the much bigger lot. The lot area for ELISA is 84 square meters. And the floor area is 34.2. So if I am going to illustrate the, the lot area, the frontage of the lot is 7 meters. And the depth of the lot is 12 meters. 7 times 12 will give us 84 square meters of lot area for the ELISA. And our floor area for uh, the model ELISA is only 34.2. And we would like to account for the frontage. If you see the frontage, that's going to be around 5 meters and the depth of 6 meters. And uh, we will be having a small patch of living room, a small patch of dining room, the kitchen, and there's a provision for two bedrooms. Uh, provision lang po ito because we give the liberty to our buyers to divide the, the whole 34.2 square meters. And um, as usual, our delivery would be plain cement, um, smooth finish. However, the indoors and the outdoors are uh, smooth paint finish, meaning it's painted. However, our toilet and baths for both the Amber and the Elisa will already be ready for use, ready for, for uh, usage with complete uh, toilet and, and bath accessories, including the water closet and the shower head and the lavatory and the tissue holder. So maybe that can already be, be used. So going back to prices, our typical amber unit and unit will be in the 2 million range up to 2 million 245,000. And our cheapest inner unit is uh, typically in the 1 million 584 and an average of 1 million 651. So how is the financing scheme? All of it will be bank financing. Uh, there's a there's a pecuniarity for all of our projects based in Zamboanga City. You might be wondering how different we can be from the other projects in the whole of Visayas, like Cebu, Iloilo, Bacolod, including uh, Davao, which is in Mindanao. That is for the main reason that there is a certain safety and security measure that we would like to keep in Zamboanga City. Like um, our sellers would really need to be 
very transparent with our buyers, no? Uh, because I believe uh, D8.18 really sells online, right? No, Doc? Your sellers are more online. Yes, yes, and, miss. Uh, practically, when you do online, the buyers would not be able to really understand the details. That's the reason why I was talking to, to Alfred. I was saying, you have to explain to them the time delivery of which as of the moment, we will have to get back to you as to when we will be delivering the first batch of houses. But tentatively speaking, still our project development um, states that we will be delivering the first batch of houses in the quarter, first quarter or second quarter of 2021. And the first houses that will be built would really be on that tranche one. That is block 15. All of the block 15 will house our amber units. And in the block 14 will be our ELISA. So if ever you will push for sales, I would really encourage you to, to push for units located in the block 15 and in the block 14. Um, in your emails, I will I will send to Doc and to, to the unit managers that you have for D8.18 a price list. And in the price list, you will be able to see all of the available units on Block 15, 14, 13, and 12. And um, the terms of payment would be 1090, all bank financing. So in other words, 10% of the total contract price less the 20,000 reservation fee can be paid over a period of 12 months. And the remaining balance of 90% will be bank financing. So it's 1090. And uh, for, for the lots, I believe we have a promo. Our 20% uh, down payment can be paid over a period of 24 months and then the balance can be done on on bank financing so there's also one thing that i would like to encourage the the sellers and the brokers of your realty is for you to get affiliated accredited because we will be giving you the facilities and the access to the fill invest sellers hub and that would be your tool so what does that mean you don't have to ask for computation sheets from me. Once you are accredited doc, you have at your fingertips all the available units of the Futura Home Sambuanga. So you would be able to generate computation sheets. You will be able to monitor your commissions. You will be able to monitor also all the updates, all the promos uh, that we have for the project. So currently, as you are based in Cebu and your focused uh, project would be Cebu Projects, no, together with Richard Apatan. So if you are going to cross-sell projects of Sambuanga City, we have to accredit you for your access to the seller's hub. But for the meantime that you don't have access to the seller's hub, I will just provide you on a weekly basis all of the updated price list. And uh, if you will need computation sheets, uh, we could easily draft and make all 49 remaining units, computation sheets, and we send it to you. So it's like you already have the access to the price lists and the prices and the computation sheets of, of all our available units. Practically, it's only around 49. So most probably your realty will be able to sell like all of it, 49, no? At the rate that you are having uh, buyers coming over for tripping like one to two almost every day. So easily you can sell the 49. So, so far, uh, would you have questions for the homes before we go to the bigger project, which is uh, 
the most amazing condominium, first time ever condominium in Zamboanga City. Wow, no? Um, Miss, uh, um, na, uh, do, do you have questions for the whole? Miss, uh, for... Um, uh, how, how uh, would it would that be would that mean that it would be uh, in order to have the access for Zamboanga, it, it has to be uh, accredited in there. Yes. Uh, so, yes uh, so how do we go about it, Miss? So that um, that's the reason it. why I was asking for all of your uh, realty papers, like the brokers, PRC mm -hmm. ID. Mm -hmm. HLURB registration. I actually it's a new name already. Department of Social Human Department of Human yes, Settlements. Settlement. Uh, that's the new name. Uh -huh. oh, new name, sir. Uh -huh. H L U R B. Uh -huh. And then uh, your BIR certification, no, the BIR certification mm -hmm. plus a photocopy of your official receipt. Because every time you receive your commissions. You will have to issue official receipts to fill invest. Yeah. So we release the commission. If you don't issue to us official receipts, your commission for the second release will no longer be released unless yeah. you submit OR. Yeah. At least uh, uh, I, I would like to set the, the records um, straight. So as as of the moment, since it is Richard who is uh, handling your realty and you are also based in Cebu meaning it's just a branch that you do in Zamboanga I will let Richard Apatan do the accreditation ah uh, okay so yes. uh, I actually means um uh, in in the, yes, in, mm -hmm. in the in the in the in the in the system there is actually D818 marketing services incorporated actually uh, in fact, there was uh, a no with that. It's just that uh, right now, Richard, in the in the mid of COVID, well, wasn't able to really process go to go through with the process for the change of the name. But this oh, okay. but this morning actually, um, he contacted me and eto uh, we're, we're going to do some ano na lang some kasi naka work from home siya tapos ECQ so um. Nagsensya ng bagong file. Sabi niya, sir, iridu na lang natin kasi yung file nasa opisina. Anyway, this would really be quick. Um, okay. He's just gonna phone in, in sa, sa Manila. So, actually, I haven't checked my mail yet, but he said that he's gonna send it there. I'm gonna redo everything para, kasi sabi niya, eh, nahiya daw siya sa'yo eh. So, siya na lang daw ang, <laughs> si kasuhin na lang daw niya eh. Yes. <laughs> kasi, sir, oh, oh yes. Normally, ako, no, all of my brokers accredited with with the project, I really take care of them. Why? You devote time and effort tripping, project briefing, no? Diba? Contacting buyers. Uh, and then later on, you you have a sale, no? You have a sale that's closed, but you cannot receive your commission because I cannot book the account. Uh, uh, yes, sir? Yes, uh Actually, so, Miss, uh, right now, uh, uh, Richard is uh, is yeah. predicting it. Actually, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure. 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 i so um ganito na lang sir no uh Jans Janice you're there there yes ma'am oh Jans yes I was wondering if we can accredit him for our project regardless of what can we do that Mm, pwede naman ma'am, basta meron lang tayong mga papers nila and meron tayong yung brokers form uh, pinipirmahan usually pag nagpapa-accredit sila Ah, okay. Ganito. Doc, we okay, will you send you a Promax form for okay. broker's affiliation. Uh -huh. No, I am actually independent as a branch. Mm -hmm. So, we will send it to you and then if you can uh, download it, print it, and then fill it out, uh -huh. sign, and then send it to us together with all the documents that are listed. Actually, nakalista siya, mm -hmm. no, Jay? Yes, ma'am, sa likuran portion yes, po, sir. Yes, sir. 
So, Actually, pare- pareho lang naman siguro, ma'am, no? Lahat. Even, even uh, the requirements here, the... Yung, yes, the yung same requirement. Same requirement yung binigay yes. na Richard. You send them over to us, we will process your accreditation for Sambuanga. Okay. I wouldn't mind the other projects, the other the other cities. So, ano mangyari uh, nun? Ano mangyari nun, miss? No problem, sir. You will just be accredited in Zamboanga City and you will be given a... For a Zamboanga. Code, a for code Zamboanga. for Zamboanga. Ah. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, so, sir. If we go I, to I cannot place. wait for him because yeah. if you will have sales, I, I need to book the sales. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what we do na lang, Doc, no? Mm-hmm. Sige, sige. Okay, Ngay- ngayon okay. kasi medyo tied up din siya. So, uh, yeah. ganun, ganun na lang siguro. Yeah, no? Ganun na lang, sir. Uh, let's... Wait. let's um, Ano to? Decentralize. Uh, sige, Your accreditation sige. for Sambuanga, we process it. Ah, okay. Sige, no? ganun na lang. Ganun. Oh, ganyan na lang, sir. Ha? Uh, so, you can send it to our email directly. Uh, mm. I have the email and uh, I will just look in Johnny's. We will work on that with our sales admin. Okay. So, sige, miss. No worries. Yeah, all right. So, uh, my, my concern really, Doc, is to empower your sellers to be able to talk to the clients mm. and address all of the, the questions. So I would like to have a frequently asked question uh, aired over, no? Like okay. for example, um, specifications of the house, we will send it to you so that you will know all the details about uh the floor that is not uh, tiled, but it will be delivered smooth finish. And then no partitions for the two bedrooms. It's a provision for two bedrooms. So we need those specifications uh, given to the sellers so that they will be confident to really say, because in the end, if we don't mention, and then the buyer fully paid. And then if we deliver the house without the tiles, uh, they will come back to us and they will tell us, ah, you misrepresented. You did not tell that in the, in the onset. So I would like to avoid that. And then when it comes to the prices, you will be furnished a price list regularly on a weekly basis. And we will give you already the computation sheets. For okay, all the 49 miss. units. Okay, no? miss. Ah, okay. Then they would ask also, what if they would like to buy lots only? We do have a few number of lots only. So now they will ask, if we are going to build our own house, how do we go about it? There's going to be the same home building guidelines and we will also have the house according to a... To a an aesthetical uh, architectural design, which is modern minimalist. And mm. you, can, you can build your house from the ground up to a maximum of nine meters in height. Okay. So the nine meters would be based on the highest sidewalk in front of the house, in front of the property. So if the property is sloping, the highest, uh, the highest level would be the basis where you will count the nine meters in height from the ground up. And then they would also ask, are we allowed to put attic sa, sa house? Mm-hmm. Yes. You, you may allow, we may allow the construction of the attic provided, uh, provided the, the roof apex no, does not exceed the limit of 9 meters from the highest sidewalk level mm-hmm. fronting the lot. Mm-hmm. And then uh, if you buy uh, an Elisa or if you buy an Amber and then they would ask, we would like to make or they make a maid's quarter mm-hmm. where they allowed. No, but when you bang the the property at the at the edge or at the perimeter of the property line, you have to put up a firewall. 
So that auxiliary structure, maybe the dirty kitchen, maybe the maid's quarter, are allowed no? at the back portion. However, sir, no, it should not exceed the height of the main building. So for example, mm. this Elisa, you want to put a dirty kitchen or a maid's quarter at the back. That back structure should not be uh, taller than the height of the Elisa structure that you see. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a, a unit, an amber unit, that unit is nine meters in height, and then you put a structure at the side of that, no, the auxiliary structure should not also exceed the height of the, the umber, or it should not exceed the nine meters. So firewalls are allowed, no? And then uh, when you construct the lot, all of our all of our lots are corner lots. So there has to be setback. So the setback would really be in accordance to the building code which is actually in the front three meters and all sides two meters and at the back also uh, two meters. So in line, I, I would like to end the Futura Homes presentation um, by stating that all of our buildings must be uh, structurally strong and homogeneous with the surroundings. We do not allow um, a structure that is built like less than 15,000 pesos per square meter. So it has to be similar to the ELISA models and similar to the AMBER units that we are going to have. So, uh, so much for the homes. If you do not have questions, we will proceed to the, to the condo, to the condominium. Okay, sir? Okay. Hi, ma'am. Oh, my, my, my question. Sige, Jove. Question. Hi, ma'am. Question, yes. Ma'am, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Ma'am, uh, my client ako nagtanong siya, eh, pwede ba daw i-fence niya yung ano? Yung ah, unit yes. sa Elis? Yes. And sa you, are allowed. Mm -hmm. you are allowed to put up a fence. Like, for example, if you bought the Elisa. No, yes. you can put up a fence to to attach to the firewall, and then you can put at the rear and at the side. So the side of the fence will still give you two meter setback before you reach the the wall of the house. No, the face, the the wall of the house beside, and then the height of the fence is one point eight meters in height. And so the front portion of your fence should be 40% can be covered cement, no? But the 60% uh, will have to be open, like grills, uh, modular, basta. This is uh, about six feet almost, no? So 40% of the 1.8 meters can be closed, cemento. But the remaining six grill type or uh, hedge type, basta so long it's going to be open. Pwede. Elsa, uh, and also in the amber, ma'am. at your own expense, na. Okay. In the amber also, oh. the same thing. You can put your fence no, to divide. If you see the two doors adjacent with each other, mm. the, the door of the end unit and the, and the inner unit. So you can put a fence. So that's going to be like five meters from the pavement to your property line. And then at the back also, you can put the fence and at the side. But also it follows. The frontage of your fence should be 40-60 for the 1.8 meters in height. You cannot go beyond the 1.8 for, for aesthetics purposes because we do not want to see our subdivision with fences like uh, one over on top of the other. 
So it's going to be like uniformity at 1.8. Yeah. Okay. But it would look nice um, also. Yes, sir. It would look nicer. Okay na. So okay. this is the most awaited thing. The one that we have um, been uh, waiting for. And uh, this will be an upcoming condominium project. First time ever in Sambuanga City. And uh, we are going to develop in phases also. The first phase would be the building A. So if you see the screen, the building A is on the leftmost portion. And the phase two, which is the building B, will be the building and the structure on your right side. So uh, we were given a ka-up clearance up to 13 stories. However, we are going to develop only 11, 11 floors, 11 stories in, in, in levels. And uh, if we will build 11 stories high, this will be the tallest building in Zamboanga City because the tallest building would be uh, the Garden Orchid Hotel, the Sky Park Hotel, uh, downtown CBD, and Ace Hospital in Tetuan. That would be 10 stories. So ours would be 11 floors. So this is what's going to be. And it's going to be called Futura Vinta Zamboanga. Vinta because predominantly our city is uh, influenced by the rich culture no? of our, our Muslim brothers. And the Vinta Vinta is the Vinta with the sails, which is so, so colorful. That depicts when you talk of Zamboanga city, you would always associate it with the sails, with the Vinta. And when we celebrate our October fest that runs from October 1 to 31, we have regatta. It's uh, na atay NASCAR, uh, car racing. Regatta is the, uh, tawag ani, the racing of the banka with the sails. So that, that's how it is. So it will be conveniently located in uh, Nunez extension, no? And uh, the official name is Vitaliano Agan Avenue. Yan, claro. Um, it is really located in the heart of the city. It's going to mall and it will be around 240 meters away from the hospital. You have banks and it will be around two kilometers away from the existing airport. And it's just about one kilometer. Uh, our condo will be right of this. Uh, you see the whole area. This is almost one hectare. However, we will divide it into two, and the inner portion would be our residential project. Uh, the outer portion is uh, going to be owned by Phil Invest Hospitalities, and we are going to have future developments here, most probably like West Hotel. That, that's the, the most possible thing that we are going to do. Um, hotel life with commercial uh, businesses. So if we are going to account for the footprint of our 5,322 square meter land for development, building A plus building B and all of its amenities in the middle, would account for around 51% of the 5,322. And so the remaining 49% would all be open spaces. So what we're trying to say is, even if we have just a small patch of 5,322 property for development, still we will be an oasis in the middle of the commercial business district of San Juan de City. So that would be that would be the, the nicest place to come and relax 
and then it would be near all of the working areas of our potential buyers. And if you see the road, it's going to be 12 meters wide. The, the road that leads to the Mayor Vitaliano Agan Avenue. Okay, so we propose for a very good lifestyle when you buy our condo. You know, we have our swimming pools, it's kiddy and adult, and we're going to have our clubhouse on the leftmost portion. Um, above the pool deck would be our fitness center. That would be the gym. And then at the back of the amenities, the ones that you see, that would be the phase one development. And that's going to be the building A. And this is a much clearer view of how nice it would be. And in between the buildings A and B would be a patch of open spaces. And that would be where our uh, children's playground and play equipments would be. And uh, for better appreciation of a picture that's rendered, you know, most probably during nighttime when all the lights are on in the building, this is how it's going to be. And we would like also to sell safety, security, sanitation, like all other projects that we have um, in, in Cebu or in Davao and in Cagayan. And this is also a rendering of the phase two, the building B. So all of the features would be just the same. We will be having mailboxes for each of our homeowners. And at the 11th floor of our building A would be our drying cages. We will have our centralized uh, a garbage disposal system. We will be having sufficient fire exits because we will be having two stairs. Yan. The first floor would all be parking spaces. Uh, we don't have underground parking. Our parking would start at the first level. So this would be our ground floor. We will be having 31 units of parking slots available for sale. And if you see on the leftmost portion of the screen, that's an exit stairs. And on the uh, east wing will be another set of flight of stairs. And we will be having two elevator shafts. So our buildings would have a would have 10 floors housing 19 units of all two bedrooms. Tanansha, all of, all of our units would be two bedrooms. And um, all our total contract prices would already include the drying cage for the building A. But however, for the building B, when we will sell it, that's phase two, the drying cage might already be sold um, separately. So this would be our 32 square meters uh, two-bedroom condo unit. So if it's going to be 32 square meters, uh, it would be five by 64, more or less. And when we deliver our two-bedroom units, uh, the living room, the bedroom, the kitchen, and the toilet and bath floors will all be tiled. It would already have um, ceramic floor tiles. Then when you talk about the walls, our walls would be RC walls, uh, reinforced concrete. And when we deliver it, it's going to be painted. And also the ceiling would also be painted. However, that would just be the exposed smooth under slab. So meaning it doesn't have a ceiling. Uh, whatever is the, the slab, you know, the reinforced concrete slab that would be painted. And then our toilet and bath would already have its complete toilet fixtures. And all our two bedrooms would have doors already. So the doors would be HDF and it's going to be on steel jumps. And our windows would already have aluminum frames and glass. Um, actually, we have a, a showroom in our Futura sales office in, in Veterans Avenue. So like all of the projects of Philinvest, um, 
we abide by the Boho City by seal. So meaning all our condos are strong, it's fire resistant, uh, you will have efficiency in the, in the energy. It's going to be economical and there's uh, noise control. And if you will also ask, these are the most frequently asked questions actually. Uh, stop sharing, stop share. So the, the most common questions that, that we have, you know, uh, how strong would our buildings be? Because with the most recent earthquakes that we have experiencing in Visayas and Mindanao, we are always asked, how strong would your buildings be? So from our structural department, uh, Phil Invest would like to tell our clients that we follow the code uh, for the seismic building design. No? And then our engineering department um, also says that our buildings are compliant. Uh, to the mandate imposed on the structural code of the Philippines. And it is also aligned to the seismic provision. So we would, we would be confident to say that uh, whatever our, our buildings would be, it's really structured to be strong that can withstand like the, the earthquakes that we have in, in the Philippines. So uh, God forbid we did not have that, that strong earthquakes, uh, most especially in Zamboanga City, we are not uh, earthquake prone. Least we are affected. Even if it is already uh, six, six point something degrees, no, in Zamboanga, hardly we feel it. No, those from Zamboanga City can also validate. So the prices, if, if we, will, we will talk about the prices of our units, the cheapest would be 4.2, 4,267,000. Or if we round it off, that's going to be uh, 4,270,000. And the most expensive is around 5,700,000, 5.7, So it depends upon the, the location and the view that we have. So, so far, that's about it for both of our projects. If we still have time, I could entertain your questions. And if none, uh, we can just email the questions doc. Okay. Or okay. Email, no? Yeah, uh, uh, is, there, is there any immediate question here that you wanted, uh, that you wanted to ask with uh, Ms. Sheila here? Um, if, just in case you have some immediate uh, uh -oh, yeah. questions. The rest of the... Um, Miss, would, it, would this be the same as that uh, with Futura in Dumaguete? Futura in Dumaguete, the uh, Marina Spatial. Yeah, the Marina Spatial. Yes, similar to that, though. Similar ah, okay. to that. Uh -oh. yeah. And uh, one Spatial in Davao. Yeah, in Davao uh -oh. also. Okay. So the, the, they're very nice, no? Uh, they have nice uh, facilities, actually. So it's... So we only have one BR package packages in in Zamboanga. One model, which is two bedrooms. A uh, one one BR uh, uh, two two uh, BR two, two BRs. Uh, uh, so, two bedrooms. So no no other. Uh, Wala, none none. So it's uh, very easy for us mm. to sell. It's very easy for us to sell. Ah okay. So uh -oh. this this is a this is a different captured uh, market because it's two BR. So yes, sir. Probably Philinvis may have may made some study why it's two BR. No. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. I, I would like to to before we, we wrap up, no, there is a very special thing about Sambuanga City. We consider some buyers high risk. Uh -huh. High risk, huh? Uh -huh. um, we do not want to sound as racist. Or prejudicial, no, to any code, to any creed, no. We do not talk about religion. It's all about spirituality, no. However, all of our buyers are supposed to go through the bank and get a notice of approval or a pre-approval pre -approval. for the fifteen eighty-five. Mm -hmm. whatever is the total contract price, fifteen percent of that is payable in 30 months. 30 months na siya. 
So the remaining 85% will be paid via bank financing mm -hmm. in terms of five to maximum of 10 years. Kana okay. siya. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. And then the rest of it, we can give you computation sheets for the tranche one units. But uh, I have to assure you, Doc, no? once you get accredited and you have the seller's hub, you have everything at your fingertips. Yeah. You will, oh, you will not have a problem. The whole inventory would be in your hands. And then most probably you will call me uh, just for clarifications lang. Everything okay. else will be there. Kasi sir, I handle the branch. Okay. I don't have a BSM, a broker sales manager. I only have one sales assistant. And there are only seven of us Actually, one resigned, six of us in the branch. So I'm really very sorry if I cannot attend to your calls, no, for, for the sales persons, because as the branch manager, I am only two hands and two feet <laughs> and one head. So <laughs> I, I have to give it to you all. Mm. Uh, I'll give you a weekly price list. I will give you already the 49 computation sheets for the homes and I will give you all the computation sheets for the tranche one of the Vinta and then uh, everything else follows. Okay, for uh, for the Vinta, we're selling tranche one? Uh, tranche one is already in the system. Ah, okay. But so, if your buyer would like to go tranche two, tranche three, tranche four, it's going to be a, a wait ah, okay. for approvals. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I just like to manage your excitement and expectations. Okay. No. So okay. it's it, it's no longer in it's no longer in LOI stage. It's already no more, sir. No okay. more LOIs. Okay. okay, that's that's nice, guys. No, and then, no more LOI. Uh oh, and then you will be taught how to do online reservation using the seller's hub. Ah, okay. That's that's nice. Okay. That would be convenient. Yeah. Okay, Miss. Thank you so much. No, we will work. We will work out na lang with with Zamboanga. We yes, will, yes. We will let Richard do his part also, so so that we cannot just wait and see na lang kay Richard. So okay. Para para it's it's independent na lang talaga. Correct. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, we are totally different from the Cebu system, uh, so yes. I can work with Richard and the rest of the girls in in Zamboanga uh, for another run. Para to hone your skills and your knowledge about the homes and about the vinta. Sige. No, I may sound so strict, but that's putting law and order into everything. Uh, see. Hopefully, COVID is over so that I can drop by there in some Oh, sir. Pasha, pasha. Yes. Uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully the things will be over. Actually, my sister is staying in Cebu. Ah. Uh, capital. Capital residences, Aye. and then my eldest daughter is there, stranded. Yes. So most probably, if it's already a go, I can ask them to visit you also, para we can establish ties also in Cebu. Yeah. And then to I think right now, I think they're gonna be proceeding to lockdown. So yes, sir. It's gonna be very tight in Cebu in the coming days. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be over. Hopefully okay. it's gonna be over. Sige, Thank you very sir. much. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you very much. No, so I hope I am a bit of help to you, even if my time is so cramped. I am work from home actually, so <laughs> my it's, hands are tight. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Very much. Uh, very much understandable. Anyway, we can work on with with emails and everything. Thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Thank so, you. Thank bye you bye. very much for the time. Uh -oh, thank friend, you. Bye bye. Friend, Juby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Okay, guys, that's it, no? We have a very good project in Zamboanga. One house and lot, the other one is a condominium. One good thing, it's the it's it's gonna be the first in Zamboanga. You know what? When 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 projects are are trendsetters, always remember if projects are trendsetters, it always sells a lot. It always sells a lot. So it means to be in Zamboanga right now, if you're gonna possession it in the online, it's gonna sell a lot, especially for the condominium. So you might as well capitalize on that on all, all of your social media posting. Um, um, I think it's gonna it gonna explode, no? And also Futura, Futura House and Lot. They have how many hectares was that? Thirteen hectares. So it's gonna be a very big project. So our Mindanao, Mindanao team, 
you work on it, huh? you work on it, Mindanao team. But actually, right now, you know what? Who's selling the Sambuanga project is the Cebu, the Cebu team expediting everything for for the sale in Sambuanga. So, kayo jan sa Sambuanga. Huwag niyong antayin na ang taga-Sibu magbenta pa dyan. Magbenta na kayo dyan talaga. Okay? So, okay. Now, I think we will, let's go to the, ano na, to the hometown. No? Hometown here in Cebu province.